Hello, good afternoon. We are going to look at solving an equation that involves only one step. So we're going to have a number multiplied by an unknown is equal to another number. So for example, let's say we have 6y equals 24. Now, what is 6 doing to y? Now, if we have 6 plus y, we're going to have the plus sign showing. If we have 6 minus y, we're going to have the minus sign showing. If we have 6 divided by y, we'll have it written like that. Or we can have 6 and a division sign y. So you realize in each of these we're using add, subtract, or divide, it's, the sign is always showing. However, if you are doing 6 multiplied by y, it can be written as just 6y. So whenever you have a number and a letter next to each other, one's multiplying the other, or if you have a letter next to another letter, it means that one is multiplying the other. For example, if we have xy, that's going to mean x multiplied by y. So with this knowledge, let's transfer it over to this side. Now, if I'm getting rid of 6, it means that I need to do the opposite of whatever it's doing. At the moment, it is multiplying. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide, and that would get rid of it. However, with an equation, if I divide on one side, I'm going to have to divide on the other side. Reason, an equation is balanced. So whatever happens over on this side is equal to 24. So now that I'm dividing by 6 on this side, to keep my equation balanced, I'm going to have to go and divide by 6 over on the other side. 6 divided by 6, that cancels out. So that's 1, 6 into 6, 1. So we'll have 1y remaining. And then 24 divided by 6 is 4. So now we have 1y is equal to 4. Now, do, do you think we need to keep the 1? If I have 2y... I'm going to have to put my 2, because there are two, two y's that I have there. Three y's, just the same. Now, if I have one y, I don't need to keep the 1 there, because what this is representing only one y. So therefore, over on this side, where I have one y equal to 4, I can remove the 1, and it's left as y equals 4. I hope you understood everything that I've just gone through. Please leave a comment in the comment box below so that I can improve further down. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.